Welcome to the TPT Podcast Sports Betting Show, where hosts Dustin and Brizzy put their money on the table for this week's best bets. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of Best Bets. I am your host, Grizzy, Nicholas, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me for dinner. I'm here with my co-host, Dustin Klug. Dustin, how are you doing, man? Dude, we are feeling good. We are on a winning streak right now, two in a row, looking to make it three in a row. Grizzy, how are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. The wins don't count because we're doing record-wise, but last I checked, I think you were eight. Eight and twelve, eight for twelve, and I'm what? I was like six for, or I, I'm five for twelve. So I'm only a couple, couple picks behind you, Dustin. But uh, this week we're really going to Dustin. We're really going to pick things up this week, and we're really going to go six for six. So I just need everybody to rock with me, Dustin. But Dustin, besides the whole betting thing, like, what do you, what have you been up to with your personal life? Well, this past weekend I was at a freaking boring Badgers game. Freaking 10 to 24. We left at halftime. I was going to go to the Vikings and Saints game. Uh, that That's one I really wish I could have gone to, but couldn't make it this year. Uh, I will be at the Vikings and Broncos game this Sunday night. Super excited for that. I'll be at Mile High. And make sure you guys look for me there. Uh, how have you been? All right. Just doing normal grizzy stuff. Just uh, watching that was Minnesota Vikings and Mr. Joshua Dobbs. Take me higher. As the kids may say, but can uh, you Dustin, take me higher? Oh, guys, Dustin has been fired and relieved of his duties. Everyone waved goodbye to Dustin, but no, on a real note, we got some football tonight. We guys are recording this on Thursday night, but I say we get right into the gravy, right into the bread and butter. And actually, we are a week from Thanksgiving, so next week we will have a Thanksgiving special where Grizzy will be dressed up like a turkey. I already look like a turkey right now, but I'm going to dress up like a turkey. Warning, Grizzy will not actually be dressing up as a turkey. But guys, without a further ado, I think we should start getting into the picks. That's what you guys are here for. You're not here to, for us to talk about our stupid lives, where one of us, not going to say who, sits in their bedroom all day playing Madden. So I'm going to kick off. Dustin, you have, a, you have a problem with me kicking off? No, no, go go right ahead. You'll you'll probably want to kick off. You'll want to get some things right to even beat me this week. So, well, as long as I'm winning in the Jaden's jerseys fantasy league with money on the line, that's all I give a crap about. Speaking of Jaden's jerseys, make sure you guys don't shop at Jaden's jerseys. Um, I'm gonna take his Kansas City Chiefs. I'm taking Patrick Mahomes over 285.5 passing yards. You know, last week he had a bit of a bummer game against that Miami defense, and you might be saying, Grizzy, he's playing an even better defense this week. He's playing the Philadelphia Eagles. And I would say, hey, shut up. I'm the professional. You're not. So Mahomes, as Mr. Jaden will always tell you, he can never have back-to-back bad games. You know, I know they won, but he did have a not Mahomes-type game. So I'm really just hoping for a Mahomes, you know, a Mahomes game. I'm talking about, oh, here's a guy, Patrick Mahomes. I'm talking about that guy. I need Mahomes to go for at least 300 yards, also having him in fantasy football. And uh, I think the Chiefs win and cover the t- negative 2.5 spread. And now we will get to Dustin's first pick. With my first pick in the week three, best bets, show, draft, whatever you want to call it, we are going with Justin Fields going higher than 211 and a half passing yards against the Detroit defense. I think it's just pretty much a gimme at this point. I was debating on putting this as my lock of the week. But with Justin Fields healthy, yeah, he's going to be running around a lot. But I think 211 passing yards is very doable for Justin Fields. Uh, You know, you got DJ Moore. You got a couple other good receivers as well. I think against that Detroit secondary, they're just going to get obliterated. And it is at Detroit, too, so that kind of makes it a little tougher. But I think Justin Fields gets past that 211.5 passing yard total. And I didn't know you wanted to start out 0-for-1 already, but I will keep it in that game as I will be taking Amon Ross St. Brown, Mr. Among Us. And I'm going to take him over 84.5 receiving yards. And now here's a guy, Amon Ross St. Brown. He, you know, as much as it pains me to say this, he is the guy. He has solidified himself as Goff's favorite target. He's gone for over 100 yards in his last four games, and I, I hate to admit it, you know, he's no Justin Jefferson. He's no he's no Jefferson, but 
he is still a great receiver, and you can't argue with the stats, man. So I'm going to take him, and I'm also going to take the Lions winning and cover the negative eight spread. But uh, let's get to what Lustin has to say with his second bet of the night. Well, you almost sounded like a Lions fan for a second there. You were really praising that Lions wide receiver. I know he's good, but, man, that, that that's a little too much. Uh, but going to the best team in the NFC North, you know, the Minnesota Vikings, Josh Dobbs, he has his favorite target through the past two games. It is not Jordan Addison. You know, it's it's TJ Hawkinson. Let's be real here. He's been practicing with TJ Hawkinson in the offseason, and – TJ has three touchdowns in the past two games, right? So I think TJ Hawkinson is going to continue that streak. He's going to get at least one more receiving touchdown. And against against the Broncos as well, That's I think that's pretty easy. Um, I don't know how they are against tight ends, but he, it doesn't matter. TJ Hawkinson is going to find that end zone. Well, Dustin, I hate to disagree with you. Oh, what am I saying? I love disagreeing with you. You suck, and you're 0 for 2 so far. Guys, I was right last week. I was right last week, and I will be right again. Sammy Sosa, Sam Howell, over 251.5. The man's gone over 300 passing yards in his last three games, dude. I got to say, man, Sam Howell, he might be the real deal. He might be legit. He might be better than Patrick Mahomes. I don't know, man. That's not my words. Washington fans could get pretty crazy. But, you know, he's done this against defenses like the Seattle Seahawks, the Patriots, the Eagles, all great defenses if you took out the Patriots because they kind of suck this year. Uh, but Sam Sammy Sosa, he's playing a poverty Giants team this week. And Washington is favored by negative nine, but I still think they win and – no, no. I think they win, but do not cover the spread. I don't see them winning by more than nine, but I still think that Washington will win, and Sammy Sosa might even hit 300 passing yards again. If he did it against Seattle and the Eagles, I get the Eagles one was a divisional matchup, but I think Sammy Sosa's got to do it. He is the man. And now I will be handing it off to the bitch, Dustin Clue. I think all that losing the past couple of weeks has really got you mentally ill, and it's really scaring me because we're going to go three for three right now. We're going to Kenny Pickett. All right, he's going against that elite Cleveland defense, and I think he's going to have lower than 100, 182 and a half passing yards. He's just, I don't know, Kenny Pickett. I don't know how they've won as many games as they have. I think they have six wins on the season. Who knows how they got that? But against that Cleveland defense in Cleveland, yeah, that that's chalked up as a loss for the Steelers. Kenny Pickett's not going to have a great day, and that's all she wrote for that one. Well, they wrote me off, but I did not write back, as a famous man named Geno Smith once said. Uh, but let's get into my next pick. I'm taking Dak Prescott under – 0.5 interceptions. Dak's been playing great football these past couple of weeks, and they're playing a poor Panthers team. And I think the I think the Cowboys get up pretty early in the first half, and they turn into more of a run team come the second half. But uh, let's get to let's get back to a man who's running from the truth. That being Dustin Klug. Dustin, I didn't know running from the truth was a, a two two series win streak here, two weeks in a row. All right. But we're going to the Green Bay Packers versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Like I alluded to before, the Los Angeles Chargers have a horrible, horrible defense. Okay, And Christian Watson, he's not elite by any means, but I think he's going to exceed that threshold of 35 and a half receiving yards. I mean, Jordan Love, yeah, he's throwing him the ball, but I, I think that's, that's an easy threshold, especially against that Chargers defense. You know, it's a noon game. It'll be nice, crisp November afternoon. Christian Watson has this easy. Uh, now let's stop talking about mid-wide receivers and get to the big dogs because we them boys, I'm talking about C.D. Lamb, over 75.5 receiving yards. Another man who's just been balling out in this Dallas team. He's gone over 100 yards in his last four games. They're playing a poor Panthers team, the same team that lost to the Minnesota Vikings 
So I think CD goes over and the Cowboys win and cover the minus 10 and a half spread. Now let's get it over to Mr. Funny Guy over here, Mr. Dustin Klug, for his fifth pick and his final pick before we get to our locks of the week. You know what's funny is I actually had the Panthers upsetting the Cowboys. I know the Cardinals did that earlier this year to the Cowboys, but this just seems like it has upset written all over it. What do you think? Uh, I think you're delusional, and they're not playing Joshua Dobbs. They're playing Bryce Young. (laughs) Dustin, I'll make your pick. Okay, sounds good. With the Panthers, we're going to our old friend, Adam Thielen, and he's going to have lower than six receptions against this Cowboys defense. Yeah, I said that they'll probably upset the Cowboys, but let's be realistic. You know, that that, that thought's kind of in the back of my head, but being realistic, I think the Cowboys hold Adam Thielen to under six receptions. It's It won't be a good day for Carolina. And... Adam Thielen, I think he he's had that good stretch of the past couple of games, having you know averaging about six to seven receptions a game. But I think he's gonna come back down to earth and shows age a little bit and be under that six reception mark. Yeah, Dustin, when we all see that Adam Thielen poster behind you, we all know you're a big Adam Thielen guy, but uh, not very talkative today, are you, Dustin? I know you had a nice nine to five, probably tired, want to get into the bath, take a nice bubble bath with your. Delvin Cook, Rubber Ducky, or whatever you got to do. But uh, let's get to our locks of the week. Uh, Marquise Brown, Carolina Panthers. Marquise Brown, Arizona Cardinals wide receiver, under 57.5 receiving yards. He's only went over 57.5 receiving yards three times this year. And they're playing a red-hot Texans team who have a who has a defensive-coordinated coach. Don't don't think Marquise Brown's going to be doing much, but uh, I still think the Texans will win, and I think they will cover the minus five spread. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my lock of the week. All right, we are going back to the Cleveland and Steelers game versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have the rookie DTR starting this game. And, you know, as a rookie, he's going to have some struggles, and in this game, he's going to struggle mightily. All right, he's going to have under 190.5 pass and rushing yards in this game. You know, the Steelers' defense, they're still decent. You know, they still have T.J. Watt. They they have a lot of good pieces on that defense, you know, led by Mike Tomlin. But that, that rookie's not going to have a great day against that Steelers' defense. And I think that's that's probably one of my biggest locks of the week. I alluded to one before, you know, with T.J. Hawkinson getting a touchdown in the game, but DTR... Yeah, not not a good good day for him. All right. Well, I guess that does it. And I guess, Dustin, we forgot to do something. And uh, so I guess we might as well do it now just because if we forgot about it. Yes, we can do a nice skull chant. But we didn't even go over our record for last week, Dustin. So my week two record was four and two. So I had four get right, two losses. Dustin, what did, how did you do? So my my stats will be on screen here. Uh, I I yeah, honestly yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, them on yeah, top yeah, of my yeah, head. Hey, yeah, shut yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can speak for him because I actually take this stuff serious. Dustin got five. I I know he should have been gotten five until wrong, I pull up the screenshots. But he he did get five right. He got he got one wrong. But that's all going to change after he goes zero for six, and I make this big comeback we'll do it for this episode of best bets be sure to uh go on underdog fantasy use code that vikings fan when you sign up get your first deposit match it up to 500 dollars in total wins and you know copy or fade our picks you know if you feel confident in my picks if you feel confident in grizzlies which is not a very good idea but still if you feel confident enough to mix and match you can do that as well um be sure to follow us along for week four and we'll see how we did is that'll do it for this week of best bets and i just want to take a minute to wish everybody a happy happy thanksgiving because we will not see you till friday of next week which will be black friday which will also be another football game that we will not personally be betting on because the uh That's another game that we will not be betting on because we don't want to post something, you know, and you guys might not even see it before the game. But, uh, guys, make sure you guys go check out Jaden's jerseys. 
Use code Grizzy, use code TVF and get free shipping only for the Christmas season. But uh, for Black Friday, too, the Christmas season, Black Friday, you know, if you want to get your dad a gift, you want to get your uncle a gift, your grandma a gift, you want to get your great grandmother a Josh Dobbs jersey, just make sure you get it at Jaden's jerseys and make sure you use code Grizzy so Jaden can feed me and I can get out of his basement. All right, guys. We will see you next week with Best Bets.